sing. Dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. Oh, 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 oh. I never see anybody do the things you do before. Oh. You excited? We're going inside yeah. it now. The tunnel's over there, we're gonna, we're gonna go, look, the tunnel's over there. Welcome back. It's been about a year since we did any travelling. After Switzerland last year, my life was turned a bit topsy-turvy again, but we welcomed a beautiful baby this year. We also had to get a new van to fit a family of four. This trip, we drove down through France to Italy, driving down to Mont Blanc with beautiful scenery. The only thing is that the toll gates are expensive and the tunnel to cross the border at Mont Blanc one way is 54 euros. Travelling through Switzerland is a cheaper way with the vignetta which lasts until the next January of the following year. So if you've never driven to Italy before and you are going through France it's actually best to go through Switzerland down to Italy. We were heading to Lake Garda, which is in the northern part of Italy, near Verona and Milan. The whole trip we were greeted with lots of rain, but also sunshine. We stayed in Alto Mincio Family Park, which is really great with restaurants, bars, swimming pools, also gelateria and sweets place. Are you eating a pizza? Yeah, it's alright. The bungalows itself are quite nice to stay in. They are basic or premium, depending on how much you want to pay, and they're relatively very good price for what you get. And we have found this to be a really great place to come back for holidays, especially with young children. The only thing that we would say is that where you park your vehicles, they haven't paved it, so it's very muddy. So if you do come here and it is rainy season, do expect to get muddy shoes or at least bring a pair of shoes you don't mind getting muddy. We found the park to have really great facilities, a swimming pool, little play areas in every corner as you are walking around the park site. Got some lovely olive oil here. Um, it's the real stuff, not the fake stuff. One way to know that it's real is the glass bottle that it will come in will be dark. If it comes in a clear plastic bottle it's not real olive oil. Um, also cold pressed. Estrato a Fredo. And the last thing to know that it's real is when you taste it, you get like a peppery taste in your throat and mouth. That's the good stuff. We checked out a nearby little town called Borghetto. It is a very tiny village with a beautiful big heart. It's a very charming charismatic town with a river and lots of little places to eat and gelaterias. It's a great place to walk around for a few hours. Wait, I, you put it in the... Ciao! Uh, 
Uh, un frappe takeaway. Um, okay, frappe takeaway. Uh, caramello salato, per favore. Sì. Una? Uh, sì. Un frappe? Sì, 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 sì. Grazie. No. Uh, e un cono con due palline. Uh, por favor, uh, un chocolate, chocolate fondente. fondente y riota cheese, por favor. Sí, por favor, una palina. We then decided to check out Lake Garda, the first stop being Sirmione with a beautiful spectacular castle. You could easily spend hours here, walking around exploring the little tiny cobbled streets. Sadly we were only here for a couple of hours because we came for dinner and sunset, but it was so beautiful walking around here. Be sure to check out the historical landmark of Sirmione, which is called Grotte di Catulo. It is such a striking castle. This place is probably the number one destination in Lake Garda, and we can definitely see why. We then checked out Garda and had the most wonderful lunch. I ordered lasagna and Ramel was brave enough to try donkey. Probably the most amazing food dining experience we've ever had. was definitely at the Risotteria, which is just a five minute walk away from our Alto Mincio family park where we are staying. We're not going to be living like poor people tomorrow because we spent a hundred tonight. <laughs> we had a three course meal of a starter and then three risottos and then beautiful dessert. The food was just absolutely amazing, the finest quality and such a great price. And our host was so friendly. He even explained everything to us in Spanish. Yeah, this this one here is pear glaze with sweet and mustard. It's really interesting. Wow, is that a result of the blueberries? And as always, we never skip dessert. Being so near Verona, we had to go and check out this old city. 
Verona is famous for being the backdrop of the play Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. It's a very charming city, although it was a very hot day to walk around, we didn't stay too long. We wanted to check out Juliet's Tower, but the crowds were too long, so instead we just walked around enjoying the sights. love to live here and again with all the Italian food we've eaten this week it did not disappoint we had an appetizer of spaghetti meatballs on bread buffalo pear and raw beef salad I wasn't brave enough to try the meat and then beautiful pastas cooked with white creamy sauce asparagus and tomatoes and a beautiful homemade chocolate cake and ice cream with pineapple. And sadly, as all holidays come to an end, it was time to go home. This time we decided to drive up through Switzerland, passing up by Lake Como, which is definitely a place we would like to check out next time we come to Italy. Italy has been one of our absolute favourite places for the quality of the food, the prices and the friendliness of the people. Grazie mille Italia. Ciao.